Thanks for being with us in prayer today. I'm Father Ron Hoy, and this is the God Minute. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and And my my mouth mouth shall declare declare your praise. praise. Psalm 54, Confidence in Prayer O God, by your name, save me. By your strength, defend my cause. O God, hear my prayer. Listen to the words of my mouth. Strangers have risen against me. The ruthless seek my life. They do not keep God before them. God is present as my helper. The Lord sustains my life. I will offer you generous sacrifice and give thanks to your name, Lord, for it is good. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Romans. Now if we are children, then we are heirs, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ, if indeed we share in his sufferings, in order that we may also share in his glory. The Word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. I'm Peggy Visconti, and I'm happy to be back again to pray with you as part of this podcast. Having an opportunity to reflect on Scripture in this way and spend time considering how God is working in my life has been very life-giving already for me. I hope it's been helpful for you, too. When I read the passage from Romans, it reminded me of an interesting job interview I participated in last year. We were in the process of adding two new members to our staff here at the office, and I was one of the interviewers asking questions of the candidates. Our questions were very scripted so as not to give any one candidate some benefit over another. The interviews all began in the exact same way. Would you care to tell us a little bit about yourself? It was a very soft start designed to help the candidates get comfortable with us and the process. One candidate in particular really stood out to me. When the opening question was asked, would you care to tell us a little bit about yourself? She began by saying, well, first and foremost, I am a child of God. I think I mentioned in a previous reflection, I work in the Catholic Education Office, so the comment itself wasn't all that out of place. It's just when people ask me to tell a little bit about myself, I usually start by saying something like, I'm married, I've been married for 30 years, or I'm the mother of three girls. Sometimes I tell a little bit about my previous work experience as a teacher and then as a principal, or I say, I'm from a very large Irish Catholic family. I have never once introduced myself as a child of God. Her response got me thinking, maybe that is a really good place to start. I am a child of God. Have you ever thought of yourself that way? I've thought of it a number of times since that interview. It always makes me smile when I think that in the beginning, God imagined me, a unique and special individual. God created me. God created you, too, as the unique and special individual that you are. God breathed life into us, the same breath that created the whole universe, created us. We need to remember that we are God's and God is ours. How would it change your day today to think of yourself 
as a child of God, to see someone else as a child of God also, maybe a family member or your spouse or the coworker that drives you crazy or the person that you don't even know in front of you in the checkout line. Let's try that today. To act first as a child of God. To speak to others as a child of God. And to see those around us as children of God also. And together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Fill us with your love, O Lord, so that we may live truly as your children. Teach us to share that love, especially with people in which it seems so hard to do. And we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So glad you joined us in prayer today. Go forth and bless the Lord God in everything. And we'll see you tomorrow.